really lacking the deep push. They're, when the team redemption just groups up and push, they got really nothing to defend spirit. the towers. Uh, Oracle, purifying flames, the heal. Oh, okay, okay. The, yeah. nuke, the, the 360 damage nuke on a 2.25 yeah, yeah, yeah. second cooldown. It's crazy! Good late DDC. He's trying to battle up against Febby here. Febby dropping low, but DDC looks like he, oh, no, he's going to get the fairy fire off. Death Prophet is not even going to die on the tornado. Let's finish him off, and QO will get the counter kill, but DDC gets blocked. Sports. Bebby down bottom lane. Spot out the Vitage. If they can get a little more damage onto him, or even with the Grave Chill, right click's coming in through. Shuriken or anything. Oh, and he's still gonna drop for it. Finally, he gets the final click in. Hobble down that Spirit Bear, but for every level of you, you have the Tangling Claws, not just yet. Dyer's top tower level. is under attack from the Goddess. I think the when Team Redemption hits level six on all their heroes and starts pushing them down the lane, there's something happening at top. Taste run on the right towards mid. But this dog here has had a great time up at top. Yeah, he's getting way too much. Now maybe they can kill him off. He doesn't have mana for oh. surge. They'll be able to click him to death. He, uh, help out there. Is the... Actually, Laundry is doing really well as well. He's almost got Midas. Hold off. Dyer's top tower is yeah. under attack. Yeah, uh, pretty decently. Oh man. Dark still gets dropped. The exorcism push and number of defense against it. Radiance it's interesting. I don't think they can defend attack. any towers. Radiant at least for first uh Dark's invis Mozan. They want the tower Radiant blade, right? He's got thunder actually. That's TV here. Ah, uh, let's go for the quick kill on Vincent. Get through with the EMP. Dead down he goes. Lance will escape. Amateur output's good. Ebby. Rotation into the stack DDZ. He's not running fast enough. Exorcism is there ready. to fine. Pop it. Turns back around. On to MP with a surge ball with the damage output. MP jump away to that remnant. Hugo finishing off the bench. It looks like it's DDZ's turn to try and turn it. No, no, DDZ. He wants to get the most usage out of his ultimate. And, but he might have over overstepped. I have overstepped with MP Searing Kings there. Ultimate will come back in about 10 seconds start to heal him up. It's just the physical damage from this exorcism. It's ridiculous onto the Ember Spirit. Now with that EMP death for DDZ healing up, but it's not enough. Bebby will drop low, but they'll get the tornado onto the Vistage, and now they go straight back in onto Mosin. Searing Chains goes on three, unfortunately, but Invoker, QO gets a double kill. Defending tier one, thousand gold. It's only 12 and a half minutes in, man. It feels like this is 20 minutes past already, the amount of gold. He's got lamp. Oh man, he's got no thunder and no life. Dubu with the death ward and MP with the damage. Mosin chase, doing things there. And DDZ, you've walked in the middle of four of them, but you've got the damage. Maybe you can kill off the Witch Doctor here just a little bit more. Dubu dropping low, but he's still healing through it all. Bottled up with a Voodoo Restoration. They're all too fast. March, you're right. And with a Shuriken tossed out, he slows the advance. And that's another ulti. That's a second ultimate from DDC. Wasted here as they drop themselves in. They're barely dropping his arcane boots in the freaking middle of the fight. The bait. Oh, the bad, bad move from Febby. Oh, what a player. Finding a Dyer's place where they can smoke that's not going to be spotted. Attack. And it's daytime. It's been spotted. They know exactly they, where they the smoke is out. coming. They got seen. They might be able to pop the smoke. Oh, really want to. Oh, we'll miss the kill up on top. But we're going to watch the smoke. What comes back on the floor of this Thunder Bear? Warrior is going to get nuked down, but it's not going to finish him off. He sprints away in a quick lone druid and turn comes in. Track through. Bebby gets a couple. Jurgen bounces around. Exorcism is thrown off the forever. Oh, yeah. Walks into the wrong neck of the woods there, my friend. Bebby running out, but Ember Spirit trying to get here with the Searing Chains. Whoa. P. Available to turn. A little bit awkward from MVP, but they have got a couple of kills, and now they turn back onto this death coffin. She's left alone. The rest of the team has already bailed, and the tornado finishing her off. That should secure the kill, not quite, but they'll get it in the end. As Mosin drops to the death ward. One by Dyer's one they fall. They give up for it. Oh, they've got oh. onto MP, but see ya. I would Ember Spirit. I've got remnants ready. Oh, left. Dark tier here. They have indeed. Even with a stun from the vein, they can't save. Die. Down. Isn't from DDZ. MP is silenced. 
pack though, they've got the movement speed and the maximum Febby to get themselves out of danger. Why do they want to turn here with the Lone Bridge coming in? Rip Rare and they're ready. They're gonna go in, try and get the Entangled DDZ just getting destroyed with a damage output of 4M. MP will slight and the Tornado will catch the DPing bench. Securing yet another kill for MVP here. How many do your mobility items and then not having him get back out of that position? No, no, just think about it. This deck, wait for but he's going up there to check the wards with four staff. He has no TP. He's gonna get stuck up in the creation of the four staff, which is 20 seconds. Oh, good silence. Swap back into stun. MP is dead. Making streaks. Nice pick off there. I the like this. Hero says goodbye. Ghost walks away, Savage roars, push the Vistage back over the side. What if this is there, but this reflection lands with stands and keeps on fighting. There's honestly nothing to stop him except this cast bouncing back and forth and maybe an entangle here from the Lone Druid Bear. Still enough wish box on the side, but the dog gets stuck in the trees. Held in place between Bear and Ogre. And I think Lance, even with a thunder, no! <laughs> he tried to take on before the thunder, but it comes in anyway. Try and stop this bear from hitting your tower. Good damage up, but there's a back wall on the floor. He's got a slight fist coming through. Forest still has the Aegis. Just give the bear a lackity, that's all he wants. Good reflection there. I don't know, vacuum stuff. He won't. Aegis will heal for us back up. That's a good question, actually. You might, you might be oh, right. If you, can, if you can level up the stats at level 1, then I will level that up. This uh, plus 6 for everything. Okay, yeah, it's probably level 25. Forest's dead here without Aegis. Behold, probably right that's that how much gold. <laughs> okay. Where does that put them? This, uh, that's a tiny dent in the 25k lead that they've got as Moton. Down. A little bit, but Hero misses out with that Tornary and Peacock mode. They're still finished up the position. But the backpack in the wall catches two of them. Hero is getting demolished by the Terra Blade. And that streak is taken out of his hands. Team Protection on the chase now. Looking B, but the Remnant will save him. Back to safety. Radiance bottom tower. This is scary attack. now for MVP. They've lost two key heroes here. Yeah, lost the gems too. Dyer's middle tower. Is Did anyone attack. pick it up? Look for him. What, what else do you look for? You can just spell silence and deep. Fastback yes, you can. Fastback misses. Oh, revenge. That's not where you want to be. That's not where you want to be. I'll fortify. Bear has Radiant's already taken down the building. Has fallen. There's all Akari. Bounce it. Clear. Let's kill TP. I've got swap maybe drags back in. Down, down, even with the mech up. I'm trying to get a vengeful spirit kill here. The lone crew bear will take that one, but EDZ exercises them up on the front. They need the damage out them back into the base. Two big ults are down now, no wall, no exorcism. This might be the chance for MP to actually end the game. Sam here from Team Redemption, though. Dave. Do with that. I think he ran into the wall. I mean, do you want to give it to the Lone Druid? Mm. I'm gonna look to just stay back and maybe giving it to the Evoker was better, I think. At least he's got the one to flame him after the games now. Pop <laughs> back, but throw the full staff away. Is it enough damage? They've got him. No, the ghost walk not enough to get himself out, but he's oh, dead. MP has crushed the ball with two moves. Death ball. The fly back to DDP as well. As Dubu smoked three or there or something. It doesn't work like that. I know, you just head, or head those speeds, like, and come back, and you just have this non-stop like fountain regeneration over and over again. It reminds me of that. I guess a smaller scale. Hold four staff aggressively to get forever into a difficult position. Still got agent slow, and even with the size of four EDZ, does not have his ultimate for the damage out. But guess what? Down, Dubu, he's found the opening. The bounce is back. Lance is gone, and DDZ is dead as well. GG is called. Cool. GG. And MVP Phoenix will take the best of one. Are they still going? Are they found the diving? Of course they are! Why? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Well, that was, uh, that was a good performance. Good performance. Later on today, what have we got? At 8pm CET, that is in 4 hours time.
So I'll take the stream down for a little bit. We'll be back in four hours. LC against Stake, London Conspiracy against Stake. And then after that game is Wombat Gaming against Mad Boys here in Replay Season 3. Arch, thanks for joining me. Are you going to 